Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I just finished some readings and I thought I was done but I felt called to do one more and as I'm starting this reading I'm feeling a lot of heat um, which always makes me think of phoenix energy of renewal and growth and rising from the ashes, um, clearing karmic debt. So again I just did a few readings and for some reason, I'm feeling very called to do a reading with this deck to see what's coming towards you in love. So let's have a look, my friends. Grab, uh, I don't know how long this will be. I'm going to try not to make it too long. Um, but you can grab a refreshment or a snack or a cookie while you're listening to me. <laughs> um, we do have, okay, we have conflict on the bottom. Arguing, fighting, eat internal struggle so you could be going through a conflict with someone or you could have been in a connection where there was a lot of conflict um maybe the conflict was preventing the two of you from getting close and having an intimate bond um this person maybe wanted to spend we have friends here so maybe this person wanted to spend more time with their friends than with you and perhaps that created a lot of conflict between the two of you. We'll have to wait and see what's coming out. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at what's coming towards you. We have unexpected, surprise, shock, out of the blue. So it doesn't feel like you're expecting whatever this is. Um, I'm just thinking about what tarot, <coughs> what tarot deck I want to use. What tarot deck do I want to use? I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use the Panda Tarot today. Um, on the bottom of the Panda Tarot, we have the Five of Swords. And the other card I saw was Death in Reverse. So it could be that this person has, um, like, maybe... There, we also have conflict, right? So there could have been a lot of conflict in this connection. Um, there could have been self-sabotage. What am I looking up? Death in reverse. Fear of change, repeating negative patterns, resisting change. So you could have been dealing with someone who was repeating negative patterns, causing conflict. You could have been repeating negative patterns. Um, fear of change is another one. You could, failure to change um, negative emotional patterns, okay? So those are the two tarot cards I saw when I looked at this deck. Um, I don't know if you caught that, but when I, when I did this to look at, yeah, death in reverse. And I just want to look at that. Two of Wands in reverse, overanalyzing, not taking action, avoiding risk. Interesting. So you could have someone who's avoiding change, avoiding changing things about themselves. They could be avoiding this connection. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get into this. Let's get into it. We have winter, December, January, February could be symbolic. It could be that's when this person, you know, something unexpected coming towards you. So it could happen in December, January, or February. We have a card flipped over. What are you? Where are you? What are you? <laughs> Who are you? No, I'm just kidding. Regret, sadness, past actions, karma. And remember when I started this reading, I mentioned Phoenix energy. Um, so whatever this is, this person, fear of change, negative emotional patterns, self-sabotage, the conflict, this person has sadness for their past actions here. Interesting. And maybe that surprises you. Maybe you think this is someone who doesn't have regret. Maybe you think this is someone who's not even talking or not even thinking about you.
we have timing, divine timing, patience. I also saw not yet. So something has been causing this person to delay coming towards you. Remember the two of wands in reverse? And listen, the two of wands can represent looking at our own patterns. So if this is someone death in reverse who's avoided looking at their negative emotional patterns and avoided looking at themselves, then that could be why they haven't been able to come back towards you until they learn those lessons um, in divine timing. We have summer, June, July, August. So we have summer and winter. But let's see what's coming towards you, my friend. What is coming towards you? Not yet. We have music. Self-love. So it looks like there's still... It looks like there's still some healing and some self-love that needs to happen, possibly on both sides. Like I said, it feels like this person, there's something they need to change. And, you know, maybe you're still on your journey of self-love and knowing your worth. Um, we also have music, your song, signs through music, musicians. So it feels like, look, we have Twin Flame there. And, you know, one of the... One of the lessons for the feminine is this, you are enough, know your worth, body positivity, you know, being in that divine feminine energy, loving yourself, accepting yourself. Not only that, this person needs to love and accept themselves before coming into you. You could be dealing with a twin flame here um, and perhaps there's still some growth that's happening in your energy. We have divine guidance, so it feels like there is a lot of divine intervention, divine guidance, signs, synchronicities, especially through music and dreams. Um, and, you know, this not yet, I don't know what's coming yet. This could have been past energy. We'll have to see what else comes out. What is coming towards you in love? We have autumn. Well, geez, we have all the seasons except spring. So it could be that this, remember we have the t the surprise out of the blue. So this could even happen, something could have happened out of the blue in September, October, and November, sudden tower moment. Um, I'm also hearing that maybe this person suddenly reaches out to you in November, December, January, or February. What was on the bottom? We have intuition. Answers are within reach. Trust your gut feeling. Trust your intuition when it comes to this connection. We've got soulmate energy and longing. So six of cups energy twice. Um, so this is definitely someone thinking about you, longing for you. They feel a very strong connection with you with that soulmate card. And we have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have fire sign. So we have air and fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And we have dreams. So it almost feels, this is coming out under not yet, so it almost feels like this person is being divinely guided by their dreams. And I know that may sound crazy to some people, but it's an actual thing that happens. And so... I'm just going to give you an example. Like, let's say this person could have been having dreams about arguments with you, about tower moments with you, about situations with you that they still need to reflect and change and grow. And perhaps they've been dreaming about those. And because of the intensity of those dreams or the stress and anxiety of those dreams, when they wake up, they're feeling all of that. They're, you know, they're being guided not to reach out at that time. And then eventually those dreams change and those dreams change into being with you and resolving things with you and having happy times with you. And when those dreams start, they start waking up in that energy of wanting to talk to you. That is div like divine guidance through dreams is what your person is experiencing. So it could be that some of the dreams that they were experiencing were causing them to, you know hold back and reflect, but let's keep going. We have separation underneath music. 
We have separation underneath music. Um, so while you're in separation, this person is hearing songs that remind you of them. They could be listening to songs and thinking about you. They could be, you know, songs could be following them around. You may be experiencing some of this as well. Um, and underneath autumn, which November, November, we still have half of this month to go. I'm filming this on November 14th or 15th. I don't even know anymore. Um, we do have someone wanting to apologize. And again, this could come out of nowhere. Maybe you don't even think this person has regret. Maybe you think they don't care. We have intuition answers are within reach. Um, and like I said, this person is going to be following their intuition when they do come back towards you. So it feels like this person is being intuitively guided and perhaps maybe for the last few months have been being intuitively guided to apologize to you to make amends. So underneath soulmate, we have, yes, go for it, do it, no doubts. So this person has no doubts that you're their soulmate. And you can see how the energy is changing. We started this reading with this person holding back, not yet. Um, again, maybe it's because they had a hard time reflecting about their own negative patterns. But now it feels now that they've been thinking about this, dreaming about this, um, they're giving... They're being given the green light to come in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. A release of energy. This person wants to release this energy is what I'm hearing with that sneeze. <laughs> Let's get two more. We have listen. There you go. That's, that's confirmation um, right there. We had conflict come out again. That's confirmation right there that this person wants you to hear them out. We have intuition. Don't talk. Hear what they are really saying. So listen with your intuition. Don't listen with your ego. Don't listen with your triggered ego, your, you know, your logical mind. Really use your intuition when it comes to this apology. Um, again, this person is being given the green light to come in. It's clear that they know that you're a soulmate and that you have a strong connection. They can't deny it. And look, we have commitment, proposal, higher, me, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> proposal, marriage, higher level of commitment. Um, anyway, very interesting. And we have forgiveness on the bottom, release negativity, good intentions. So it does feel like this person does have good intentions coming towards you. And, you know, trust your intuition when it comes to this person. We have clarity. So this person does have clarity about this situation. I feel like they're going to bring you clarity. And again, trust your intuition when all of this happens. If this person comes in and you're seeing red flags and warning bells are going off, trust that. If this person comes in and you can see that they are they mean what they say, you can see that they're remorseful and you know, that they do regret their past actions. Listen to your intuition. We do have forgiveness here. So we have an apology and forgiveness. Which I'm just going to steal this, actually. So let's look at tarot to see what's happening. We have the Four of Pentacles. So this could be someone holding back from you right now. Four of Pentacles is also an energy... Of, you know, not being able to let you go. Maybe you haven't been able to let go of this person's energy. We have the Eight of Swords, Separation, Overthinking. And we have the Ten of Wands in Reverse. Again, this person hasn't been able to let you go. That's very symbolic of not being able to put something down. So like, they haven't been able to let you go. They haven't been able to let go of your energy. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is renewal energy. All right, so I'm going to cut the deck. And 
we have the moon. So hidden forces are at work here, my friend. So I'm going to put clarity there because it feels weird without it. And look, right underneath clarity, we have don't stop, you're almost there. So this is coming. Um, so you could be divine feminine. We saw the twin flame card. We have the moon and the nine of cups. So this is someone who intuitively knows that you're their wish fulfillment. Um, this is someone who's listening to their intuition. They could be having dreams about you with the moon. Um, interesting. This could be someone who's been doing a lot of shadow work as well. So what do we need to know about what's coming towards you? We have the Page of Cups, <clears throat> an apology. I just, and the Five of Cups in reverse. So this is someone. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups in reverse. So this is someone who wants a renewal with you. And the Five of Cups is about healing from the past and moving forward. Um, I do feel like this person feels quite lost without you. Um, I'm just going to read the Page of Cups. Again, it's an apology. But it feels like this person, um, remember the, this is interesting because I feel it came out crossing and for some reason I'm feeling like taking the reversal of this. Um, so really interesting. We have neglecting inner child and there's something about your person where it feels like they were neglecting doing the work they were neglecting looking at their shadows and now this is someone investing time and energy into looking at those shadows it does feel like this person wants to apologize for something here they could have you know been quite immature when it came to this connection they could have been quite insecure and it, we do have a renewal coming in here. So this person wanting to have a renewal with you. And the Eight of Pentacles can sometimes talk about when two people choose a soul connection, even though they know it's challenging. Um, five of Cups in reverse, finding peace, seeing positives, healing from old wounds. So it does feel like this is someone who wants to apologize for how the old wounding affected this connection or how their wounding affected this connection. We also see temperance, which is symbolic of healing, patience, balance. So let's look at this person's energy. We have the two of cups in reverse. This is their current energy. Two of Cups in reverse, separation, imbalance, bad communication, tension, withdrawal. Where their trust is not justified, they have been rejected, they are faced with a rash, with rash behavior, feelings, their feelings are hurt. And there also could have been an imbalance in this connection because we also have the two of pentacles on the bottom. So there could have been an imbalance of the energy. Remember, like thinking back to the very beginning with this person could have prioritized hobby and hobbies and friendship over intimacy with you. Um, we've got someone very much feeling the separation between you and reflecting on it almost looks like they're reflecting on the fact that they weren't meeting your needs, your emotional needs. That could be what they want forgiveness for. Let's see how they're feeling about you. You came out quick. We have the devil. So they could be feeling, they could be obsessing about you, overthinking. 
It's also to me symbolic that I feel like this person had some wounding that caused them to hurt you and they're realizing this. And you know, there's this energy that this person didn't want to reflect on these things and it feels like now they're reflecting on them. They're seeing how their actions and their behaviors and their, you know, negative thought patterns or negative cycles that they were repeating were hurting you. Um, we also have Ten of Swords in reverse on the bottom. So they're feeling like they want to make amends for whatever this toxic energy was, whatever this devil energy was. There's a lot of fear here. Ten of Swords in reverse is wanting to heal the relationship, wanting to get back together. And we have Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So this person has had a realization that you are their emotional fulfillment. Look, we have the moon and I was just going to mention the moon. This person is now having clarity about some of their shadows, some of the things that they need to change. This is someone who feels a very intuitive connection with you. You could have illuminated some of their shadows, some of these patterns. Um, and it's also symbolic of this person wanting to bring clarity to this situation. They want to tell you that they see you as their soulmate, that they see you as their happiness. Um, remember, we also have commitment at the end of that reading. Let's get one more for how they're feeling about you. We have the Eight of Wands, communication, wanting to talk strength, trying to find the confidence and the courage to reach out to you. Let's look at their intentions. Page of Wands, inspired action, making a move. Let's look at their actions, actions. They will take the Emperor. Oh my gosh. Remember, we had Twin Flames come out and we have Queen of Cups. So this is someone who their actions, they are going to take action. Their, their intentions to take inspired action. Their actions to take action. I'm hearing it's go time. This is someone who wants to come towards you, taking action and then remaining. This came out in a pick a card I, I recently did with the Emperor. Um... So for some reason, I feel called to grab that book that I used. The Emperor. If you find yourself in a state of power, be sure to maintain your softness. So this is someone taking action towards you, making a move, but remaining. They want to come in with compassion and love. They don't just want to come in in their ego is what I'm hearing. Queen of Cups is, you know, a generous love offer. It's compassion. It's them following their intuition. Remember I said they're being divinely guided. Give me one more for action. What is this emperor wanting to do? Chariot, I told, like, come on now. And Nine of Cups, so definitely following their intuition with the Nine of Cups, wanting, like, they know that you're their wish fulfillment. Chariot does show them Emperor taking action towards you. The Chariot being more active in this connection when it comes to what they give. Because I just, I honestly, excuse me, I honestly feel like this person wasn't giving. Oh my gosh, excuse me again, confirmation. <laughs> This person wasn't giving enough in this connection. Um, we have taking action on love, taking control of love life. Well, that's interesting. What do you need to know about this person? We have the world. So remember all that talk about them not wanting to look at their cycles and neglecting their inner child. All of that, this person has been doing that. They've been looking at their cycles. They've been breaking patterns. Remember when I started Phoenix Energy? Um, this is someone who's been looking at their cycles of Seven of Swords Energy. So avoidance. Um, they could have denied this connection. There could have been toxic. There could have been toxic stuff happening. There could have been cycles where they deceived you or 
gaslit you or ran from this connection or ghosted you. I know, isn't it? Doesn't it sound great? But my point is, is that they're breaking these cycles with the world. They're finally looking at these patterns about themselves, some, themselves. I'm having a hard time communicating. And look, we have the king, well, we have the six of swords, but we also have the king of swords. So this is someone who has clarity and is looking at some of their behaviors logically, where in the past, I feel like there was a lot of ego. With the king of swords, you could have been dealing with someone who had a hard time seeing the fault, their fault in things or taking accountability. Let's look at near future energy between the two of you. Well, we have someone being very courageous, Knight of Wands coming in, offering you happily ever after, Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment. We've got the Queen of Cups, which remember their actions, the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. So it feels like this is happening near future energy. Or sorry, it, ha it feels like this is happening soon because I'm asking about near future energy. We also have Four of Wands, which is commitment, marriage, moving in together, stability, reunion, 11-11. Interesting. So it does look like their actions are happening near future. Let's look at the future potential of this connection. We have the Empress. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at the Emperor and the Empress together. And this is a Twin Flame reading. Or I mean the Twin Flame card came out. So the Empress for... The Empress for outcome. Nurturing, supportive lover, sensual, committed relationship. And you know, it also talks about the a rebirth here with the Empress. So that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I feel like I need to get something else for you. I kind of want to switch decks. Let's get this deck. We'll just get a few confirmations. We have years, so Twin Flame, you may have known this person for a little while. So let's see what is in the future. What is in the future? Uh-huh. Year came out again. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I'm going to leave it there. We have reciprocal energy coming in, giving gifts, thoughtful gestures. We have a turning point after a period of instability. We have a long period, at least a year. So you may have known this person for at least a year. And what was, what do we need to know about this person? Six of Swords did come out. We have transition. So this person is going through a transition and clearly there's a transition coming in this connection. Period of change, shifting, moving on from challenges. So moving forward after a time of conflict, struggle, and crisis, we have talk, communicate, reach, reach, communicate, discuss, reach out, and we have deep conversation. So we have someone wanting to have a deep conversation with you. And we'll just get one more because that seems like I need one more on there. No way. We have the stability card, which is very much emperor energy coming right on top of the emperor. That's amazing. Um, so we do see some stability being. I am hearing stability returning to this connection. So take it as it resonates. Anyway, I just wanted to come on and do a little reading for you. Maybe we'll just get a few channeled messages before I go. Let's just get a few channeled messages. Hard to let go of you. I said that with the Four of Pentacles. This person hasn't been able to let go of your energy. 
and on the bottom we have you are so important to me i added the so it's you are important to me <clears throat> so this person realizing the importance of you in their life so what do you want to say to my viewer i regret hurting you i will wait patiently for you to open up so perhaps when this person comes in you're very guarded you know and this person seems like they're going to be patient about that um i regret hurting you Jeez, these cards are flying i feel insecure that could be what stops them from coming forward right now we have, we are soulmates. I told you they know it. With that soulmate and the yes card, they have no doubt that you're soulmates. They have no doubt. Songs remind me of you. The music card, that's magical. That's magic. I love that. That was magical. Um, and on the bottom, we have my love to you is unconditional and genuine. So like I said, I didn't want to do a super long reading. I just wanted to come on and I felt called to do this reading, so that's what you need to hear, and hopefully it resonates. I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I will talk to you soon, my friend. Bye!